Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, I've got my good friend Ben Strader here from EFI University, and he's going to be talking to us about volumetric efficiency. Hello everybody, I'm Ben Strader from EFI University, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about volumetric efficiency. Volumetric efficiency, or VE as we sometimes call it, is a representation of the engine's ability to actually move air. You see, we can mathematically calculate how much air an engine should move, but then when we operate the engine and we measure the airflow, sometimes we find out they're not the same. Hence, VE then is an expression of the amount of air the engine actually moved compared to what it should have moved theoretically. You see, as an engine builder, we try to remove all the restrictions to airflow so that we get higher volumetric efficiency. As an engine mapper, you're using the ECU to supply fuel according to the engine's volumetric efficiency. The higher the volumetric efficiency is, the more fuel you'll need to add. So as you think about that a little bit, I'm going to hand you back over to Matt so that he can help you understand how the new Haltech software can better help you tune your engine using volumetric efficiency. Thanks, Ben, for that explanation of what volumetric efficiency is. Now looking at the Haltech software, what we're going to do is just uh, show you how to set up the tuning software to tune in volumetric efficiency mode and what some of the key parts of the software are when using this particular mode of tuning. And hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of a head start on how to tune an engine as quickly as possible using volumetric efficiency tuning. Now the first thing you want to do when setting up volumetric efficiency tuning is go into the software go into the main setup tab. Now within the main setup tab what you want to look at is the tuning method. There are three options in the Honda Pro plugin. Uh, the one that you want to use is VE for volumetric efficiency. Now once you set up the map to tune using volumetric efficiency there's a couple of very key things you need to set up. The first is engine capacity. The reason that software needs to know engine capacity is because that's the theoretical maximum amount of air that can be moved across the engine. Now the other thing that you need to set up is the injector flow rate because the ECU needs to work out exactly how much fuel is going to flow out of the injector for a given injector opening time. So let's go in and set those things up. Now once we set up the tuning software to be actually tuning the engine in volumetric efficiency mode and we've set the injector flow rate and also the engine capacity, what we want to do is we want to start having the computer do some of the hard work for us. So we need to set up uh, the actual target air fuel ratio map, that is what do we want the engine to run at um, at any particular load and RPM site? Now we can view either air fuel ratio or lambda simply by changing the options menu. Once our target air fuel ratio map is set up correctly, what we want to do is go back into the base fuel map. Now essentially this base fuel map is actually the engine's volumetric efficiency. Now to modify the values within the base fuel map, you can use the uh, page up and page down keys to increase and decrease um, those values. You can also select multiple cells by using the shift arrow key uh, or deselect those multiple cells using the control arrow key. Now once you've got multiple cells selected you can actually increase them or decrease them all at once to make a large scale change. Now once we've tuned the base fuel map so that the actual air fuel ratio that we read with our air fuel ratio meter at the tailpipe or in the header is the same as the air fuel ratio that we have in our target air fuel ratio map. What that means is that the numbers that we have within our base fuel map, they are actual engine volumetric efficiency numbers. That is, as Ben was saying, the actual amount of air going into the engine, a certain percentage of the total volume of the engine. So for example, if we had 80% in our base fuel map, that would mean 80% volumetric efficiency, which simply means there's 80% of 2 litres, because that's the engine capacity of this engine, of air going through this engine in one engine cycle. So that's what volumetric efficiency means, and that's how we can tune an ECU using volumetric efficiency tuning. So why is there an advantage in this? Well, think about it. Say, for example, I've modified this engine, uh, I've tuned it, and then I want to change the injectors. Well now, because I've tuned how much air is going into the engine, and not necessarily how much fuel is going in, all I have to do is change the injector size in the software rather than retune the engine. And because I know how much air is going in, well, I don't need to retune that fuel map because I've told the ECU that I've now got a bigger or a smaller injector going in there. Also, if I've made a change, for example, if I've changed the camshaft, what I can then do, yes, I will have changed the amount of air going into the engine, but I can actually see where I've gained and where I've lost the amount of air going into the engine 
once I've retuned the map. There is a handy feature in the Haltech software that actually allows you to compare maps. So what I might do is I might tune an engine with one cam, take that cam out, or even move that cam position and tune the engine again. Then I can compare those two maps and see where I'm actually getting more or less air into the engine. A very handy feature. Well, that's all we have time for this time on Technically Speaking. I'd like to thank my friend Ben from EFI University. Hey, thanks for having me. We'll see you next time.